Hey there, homespun friends. It is Sherry, and it's so good to see you today. I have been missing you. I haven't had as many videos up. Uh, my life has been a little bit um, overwhelming at times. I've got a lot of balls in the air. Do you guys realize that I have five Facebook pages? I don't know what inspired me to do that, to have five of them. I have my regular personal page. I have my homespun wife page that so many of you uh, have come here from that page. I have a scripture writing page. I have a Lilla Rose business page. And then I have a Lilla Rose group page that I operate for my team members. Those are my Facebook pages. And then I have my Lilla Rose business. And then I have my YouTube channel. Oh my goodness. It's a lot. It's a lot. So yes, things have been very, very busy. And then in addition to that, we've just had a lot going on around here. And one of the things I want to share with you before I get started talking to you about a few more of my favorite things um, is what happened to my husband on Wednesday. Um, he had an eye doctor's appointment on Wednesday, and we knew that um, it was coming up. And for those of you who've watched my channel for a while, you will remember me telling you, um, you've walked it with me, that, uh, let's see, it's been a year ago December a year ago this past December, my husband had retinal detachment surgery. One day towards the end of 2015, it was like maybe the 30th, he started having, I mean, losing vision in his eye very rapidly. And so we called and got him an appointment that day and he went over and they said, oh, your retina has detached. You have to have surgery immediately. They tried to get him into the surgery that very moment, but it just wasn't possible. So we had to go back in on the 31st, which is New Year's Eve, and he had surgery. We spent New Year's Eve in the hospital. He had surgery to repair it, and all was well. Um, he started seeing better and feeling better, but they did tell him that there was a small percentage of a chance that he would develop a cataract in the right eye where he had had the surgery. That happens sometimes, and sure enough, by June, he was starting to notice that he had a problem. And so he went back to the eye doctor, and they said, yes, you've developed a cataract. We need to get that out fixed that problem and so he went back that September and they did that procedure and then after he finished all of that um, they told him he had 20-30 vision which is fantastic so he only had to wear one contact he had always worn glasses or contacts and so at this point 20-30 vision in the surgery eye and then just a contact in the other eye and he was he was really loving that it gave him a lot more freedom and his vision seemed to be better in the eye that had had the cataract surgery than even the one with the contact which is amazing but a number of months after that just maybe three he started losing vision in the eye again and we were worried about it he said it wasn't quite the same way but it was foggy it felt like everything was not clear like he needed to blink a lot to, to try to get a clear view of things and so he went back to the eye doctor and they told him he had developed something else. It only happens in a small percentage of cases, which if it's a small percentage of cases, my husband will fall in that category. <laughs> For some reason, we laugh about this, that we always seem like the ones that when they say it only happens to, you know, three people out of 10,000, we're one of those three people. <laughs> but anyway, um, he had developed a film on the lens that they had used to replace, um, to put in that when they did the cataract surgery. And there is a way to repair that. They simply laser an opening somewhere along the eye and it allows the film to evaporate. And, and then you see clearly, you should be able to see as you did before. And so the only problem was with that was they could not do it that day. The day that they discovered this was sometime maybe around the first of the year. It was right around Christmas time when he noticed it. And so um, they told him, you know, you just had cataract surgery in September, and we need to let that eye fully heal and rest for a few more months. So we are going to make you an appointment with the surgeon in May so that he can look at it and get ready to do the surgery. And in the meantime, we're going to give you a prescription for a contact lens. You're going to have to go back to wearing contact lenses in the eye that has had the surgery. Unfortunately, because his vision had gone down from like 2030 to 2070, 2090, it was, he was having issues. So he had to wear contact back in the eye until he could get to this appointment, which was this past Wednesday. And our anticipation was, is that the surgeon would look at it, you know how it is, he would look at it and he would schedule the procedure to be done and then he would do it um, because this was the first time the actual surgeon had looked at the eye and no when he went in that morning he said we're doing this today and i was like whoa we weren't prepared for that but it, there wasn't a whole lot to it and to be honest there's not really been much of a recovery because it it, it was 
it was okay. They had to put a gel in his eye, and as that gel is breaking up, he, he has had some floaters in his eye, um, but otherwise he is see, seeing much better and is relieved that he's had that procedure and got it done and behind him. And we don't think there's anything else much that can go wrong in that eye. We're just praying that it will heal and do well, and now his vision will be restored and there won't be any further issues with it. Um, one of the big shockers is when we got up to the register to pay. Well, we didn't think we were going to pay anything because when my husband, back in December, when he first started losing his vision or January, and he went to the eye doctor, the regular eye doctor, and they told him he had this problem, he said, how much is it going to cost for me to have this surgery? Because I've paid for the retinal attachment surgery. I've paid for the cataract surgery. How much is it going to cost me now to have this surgery done? And they said, oh, it won't cost you anything because it's part of the cataract surgery. If this develops, then it's covered under the cataract surgery. So my husband said, oh, well, that is fantastic, you know, wonderful. And he came out and told me, you know, we're not going to have to pay anything when I do have this done. It's not going to cost anything. I said, well, that's great to know because, you know, we just paid two surgeries back to back. Um, but when we got to the register, they said, oh, you owe $505. And we were like, what? You know? And they're like, oh, yeah, you owe $505 for the procedure that was done today. And my husband said, no, I don't. They, they told me back a few months ago when they first you know, found this problem that I wouldn't have to pay. It was part of the other things I've had done, and I wouldn't have to pay for it. No, they wouldn't let us leave till we paid the money. So I just pulled out my debit card and I paid for it. But we asked to speak to the manager of the office and she took us back into a room and my husband just explained to her that this was not very fair for their patients. I mean, if a patient is going to owe $505, do you not think that they would want to know that before they arrive to have a procedure done? And also, would you not think that would you not think they would let us know that he was actually going to have the procedure done that day? I just think the communication was horrible. And um, so anyway, we just made, we said, you know, we've already paid it. We've already paid the money. But what would you do if somebody got up there to leave? They've already had the procedure done and they owe money and they have to pay it right that minute and they don't have it. You know, then what would you do? That, that would be very uncomfortable. It's not really, it's not right, you know, especially considering that the doctor who is a partner with the surgeon told him that he was not going to have to pay. So. Yeah, that was one little kink in our day, but that's okay because the main thing was, I told my husband, it doesn't matter what it costs. You have to have it done because these are your eyes and you only get two eyes and we need to make them, you know, we need to make them work properly as long as we can. And so we're just very blessed that he seems to be doing good on that. But that happened this week. It kind of threw our week off just a little bit. And I've been working my little rose business, guys. You guys are so wonderful. I know I tell you this every video. You're probably sick of it, but... Man, I just can't believe um, the orders that have come in. Even now, some of you are still ordering. Several of you have told me that you're interested in being a consultant and working on my team. And, um, and you might have questions. Just shoot me those questions by email, and I will be sure to answer those for you. Um, most of the questions that you're going to have, too, are going to be on my website. On my website, on the far right, you're going to see a place where it says, Become a Little Rose. And when you hit that, it's going to bring up a page that explains to you um, the things about becoming a stylist. And you will be, since you're on my page, you will be placed on my team and I will be helping you. I'll put you in my Facebook group. It's a private group and I'll put you over there and we will all be working together so that we can be successful together. Um, but anyway, I got a purple package yesterday and so I can't wait to share all of those beautiful clips and things that I got with you but I'm going to save that for another time. Today I'm going to talk to you about a few other of my favorite things. And the first thing I'm going to show you is not particularly something I love. I know that's strange. It's one of my favorite things, but I don't really love it. I'm going to show it to you. It's this Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother. And my husband and I, for the past few weeks, have been drinking this every morning. And how we do it, we don't do it straight. It's too strong. We take about a cup of juice or Gatorade. And I, don't, I hate Gatorade. I don't really like it. But it works well with this to sort of mask the strong taste of the vinegar. And I love the grape. Gatorade is my favorite. So we pour about a cup of that. Put one to two tablespoons. I would start out with one if you're starting out. And as you go along, you can work your way up to two tablespoons in that liquid and then you drink it down in the morning before you have anything else to eat or drink. 
I normally am nauseated for about 20 minutes after I take that little combo. But then I start feeling better, and I just want you guys to know, I think this has really, really helped my body. I think it's been good for me in a lot of ways, and I plan on continuing to do it because they say, especially long term, you're going to have better effects the longer that you use it. And it's supposed to help with like cholesterol, blood pressure, um, blood sugar, and all other kinds of issues that you have. It's supposed to help with any kind of inflammation. And you know how I am. I have a lot of inflammation going on. So I've been drinking this every morning. It's been working well. It's, I mean, you know, it's okay. It, yeah, it's okay. But I love it, but I don't love it. There you go. That's how I feel about it. But I had to show you guys because it's really, really good for you. And if you just look up the benefits of drinking the apple cider vinegar with the mother, the Braggs is the best, I've been told. And so that's what everyone is recommended. Now, along with my Braggs for better health, I have to have something for my mental health. And that is this. These wonderful Lindor dark chocolate truffles. They are so good. And guys, we picked these up at Ollie's. Let's see, there's 20, looks like there's about 24 in here. Three of these makes a serving. I don't know, I can't eat three of them. It's way too rich for me. This is what they look like. And I'll, I, I just have one at a time. I guess we, we paid $4.99 for these, and apparently that's a really good price because we got them from Ollie's, and they don't have anything that's not a good price. But I normally wouldn't pay $4.99 for chocolate, but I think I was having a stressful day. And my husband saw these, and he's like, here, let's get this for you. I was like, well, it's $4.99. He's like, yeah, but you need it. It's good. It's good for you. I'm like, okay. So I must have been kind of stressed out. But uh, but they are really delicious, guys. And so try these if you get a chance. Boop, I dropped it. But um, try these if you get a chance. They are super good. That's one of my favorite things right now. Another one of my favorite things I wanted to show you is my new purse. Now, I told you guys in a previous video that my husband had taken me to the Vera Bradley outlet, and I had bought a purse. I was going to show you the receipt. Lost the receipt. Can't find it anywhere. Not sure what happened to it, but... Anyway, I'll tell you about the deal I got. The purse that I got is $70. I would not pay $70 for a purse. I know to some people that doesn't sound like much at all. And to other people, it sounds like way too much. I understand that. But I love cloth purses. And I still have the very first Vera Bradley purse that I ever had is probably about 13 or 14 years old. And I still have it. I still have it. So a lot of these I let my girls borrow and use. And I, I get maybe one a year. And I keep them. And um uh, if they get too bad, you know, uh, there's might have been one or two that I've just let go. I think there might have been one or two I even gave to other people that aren't family members that wanted it. So, um, but anyway, here is my purse that I got this time. Now, this purse that I said was $70 was 50% off and then an additional 30%. So, in other words, it would have been $35 minus 30%. So that would have been extra like $10 off. So this was about 25 bucks, and that's why I bought it. And I will carry this until probably um, until it gets winter. And this is what it looks like. This is the pattern that I got. I really do love it. It's really pretty. You know, I love Vera Bradley. They have wonderful, this is the pocket here on the front. It's really deep. It's got a lot of pockets on the inside. It's got six pockets on the inside. And then because it was... A special time, I got these. I don't ever usually get these little, but a trio of little makeup bags or little utility bags came with it. And so I got this little trio of bags because they were the same deal. I forget how much they were originally, but they were 50% off, then an additional 30% off. And I even went and had this one monogrammed. This one is kind of like my little makeup bag that I take with me. You can't see the monogram very well. I wasn't really that pleased with the color. But, but anyway, it matches and... In one of these, I keep my coupons in this one, and then I have some other little important cards in this one. And so I keep all of this down here in this bag together, and that is my new purse, and I really am loving it. You know, when you first get a new purse, you can't find anything. Have you found that to be true? I mean, you think, oh, this is so organized. I have a, new, a clean spot for everything, and then you can't find what you did with it. You're like, which pocket did I put that in again? Wait a minute. What? Where's that at now? I can't find that. What? Oh, I put it in this one. Oh, no. Oh, is it in this one? No, it's not in that one. It's in this one. Oh, wait a minute. Is it in that one? That's that's kind of how I do when I go somewhere. I know people think I'm crazy, and they're right, but I do love this purse, and eventually, in the next few weeks, I'll get used to where everything is in my purse. The main thing that I lose track of is my phone. 
This is what I said I was going to do when I got this purse. I said this outer pocket right here, this one right here, this pocket is going to be for my phone at all times. My phone will just go right in there. See? Perfect. I do not do it. I don't, I mean, how hard, how hard is it to do that? How hard? Instead, I throw it in the big bag, and then I'm digging like mad trying to find it, and I can't find it. That's why I missed John Dorsey's phone call, because my new purse, I threw it in the big bag. Instead of, it's got its own pocket. It's the only thing that lives in this pocket is the phone. I don't know. I don't know why I can't get that, but it'll it'll kick in. Mimi will get it. It might just take a few days to get it, but I'll get it. But I'm loving it. I'm loving the new purse. And then I want to show you, I did get a purple package yesterday, and I want to show you one, one of the many clips that I got yesterday because I think I'm going to really enjoy this one. It's one of the ones that's been around a little while, but it's one I think I'm going to like because of all the colors that are in it. And it looks like this. This is the Kaleidoscope. And I love this flower that's in the middle, and then it's got this beautiful stone, I don't know if you can see that, and then it has all these really pretty beads along the edges of it. I think I'm going to enjoy this a lot, because it matches a lot of different clothes. Now, I, I just want y'all to see my hair today. You see this sticking up right here? This is my hair today. I mean, it has been crazy today, and yesterday too, and the wind has been blowing. And the, But I told my husband, I said, my hair is all over my head. And he looked at me and he said, well, where else would you want it? Well, it's okay that it's on my head. I just want it to be on my head in an organized and beautiful fashion. There, I said it. And he said, well, it's all right. This is a little bit wild today, but that's all right. So, <laughs> so anyway, if your hair is all over your head, where else would you want it? You tell me in the comments below. Anyway, so but I did want to show you this really pretty clip. I think I'm going to love the kaleidoscope because of all the pretty colors that are in it. And I'm going to come back in a separate video and show you guys some of the other items that I got. I got my first set of U-pins. I got my first hair stick from Little Rose that I love. I'm so shocked that I love it like I do. It's going to become my new favorite thing, and I want more um, because they're not very expensive. And I just, they're so chic. I don't know. They're just very chic and neat to, to wear. I love to see a woman with a hair stick in, but you know, you don't see it that often, and I don't know why, because they're extremely comfortable. When I got mine yesterday, I put it in my hair, and I wore it all day for the rest of the day until I went to bed last night. That's how comfortable it was, and it held my hair securely, just one stick. I was surprised by that. But I'm going to come back and show it to you, and then of course I'm going to do another giveaway, and I'm really looking forward to that. So there you go, friends. Those are a few of my favorite things from today, um, and I just want to know how you're getting along and how you're doing. Um, as I'm thinking about the giveaway now, I'm going to ask you to do something for me. If you go to my website and you look around at all the different Flexi Clips that are for sale right now, let me know which one you think is pretty, which one you think would be a good one for me to give away in the giveaway, like which, which style. I mean, this is the Kaleidoscope, there's a Dogwood, well, there's a ton, there's a ton of them. And if you go over there and look around, you think, oh, I love that one, I love that one, I love the cross, I love this, then let me know which one you love, and that will probably be the clip that I give away, the most popular one that's voted for. How's that sound? I think that sounds really good. Friends, you know how I am. I just love spending time with you. I love chatting with you. You are important to me. When I don't get to talk to you every day, I really do miss you. I've been doing my scripture writing, and when I do my scripture writing, I always think about you ladies out there because so many of you are doing it as well, and I need to bring my notebook out and let you see some of the scripture writings that I have been doing. They've been blessing me. Um, but as I do that, I pray for you. I pray for you, and I care about you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.